Good evening, friends. Now, in this part, as promised to all of you, uh, let us know more about Python Part Two, our uh, famous five of Python. Now, this is something like I, uh, as a child, you know, I was always um, me and one of my friend. We had a competition who is going to read more of the books written by Enid Blyton, uh, one of my favorite authors. And I myself was uh, very much interested with her books on Famous Five, Secret Seven, um, you know, and there are many other books that. she had written and famous five is one of the series that i really liked it now uh, in the same manner i just borrowed the word from there and famous five of python um, i mean i would like to uh, acknowledge, acknowledge these uh, five guys um, you know five individuals i should say who uh, were responsible for the development of the entire Python um, as a programming language. Now here you will see that uh, first person is definitely yes, uh, Guido van der Rosen. The second one is <clears throat> Brett Cannon. Then comes uh, Nick um, Kogelhan, Barry Warsaw, Carol Willing. So four men and one female. Now <clears throat> these are the famous five individuals responsible for the steering console. Number one, number two, uh, they are the developers who really helped in the progress of the. Python language itself. They are the code developers, as I said, and five members steering console for Python project itself. Right now, also, if we go ahead and check it out with the Python um, setup uh, project or the foundation, you will see that these are the uh, five people who are completely ruling the kingdom of the Python itself. Now, if you want to see how they look like, this is the uh, I would say the photographs of the individual. So here you can see Barry Warsaw. This is his uh, Twitter. One and GitHub uh, nicknames that they you are. Uh, I mean, if you are interested, you can go ahead. You can discuss with them some of your problems once you have learned, or you, if you know, you are free to interact with them on Twitter. They are very active, and instantly they go ahead and give you the answers or the solutions for your problem. The next active person whom I really see on Twitter is Brett Cannon. This is his Twitter name, and uh, that's how he tweets with. And GitHub uh, identification is. Uh, Brett Cannon and Carol Willing is another person. Uh, you will be seeing her also very active, and instantly she is uh, present unless and until she is not busy with something else. Guido Van Rossum because it is his baby Python, so he is always indulged and he, uh, you know, overlooks. I, I would say not ignoring, uh, looking in the sense that he is uh, sometimes visible, sometimes he is invisible. However, his presence can be seen. And last person but not the least is Nick um, Nick Coglan, and this is. His Twitter ID as well as the GIF ID. So these, uh, this, these five individuals are the Python steering console, which we simply call it as Python PSC, and the full form is Python steering console. And you can see that each individual, I mean, individually, they have uh, literally gone ahead and um, contributed a lot. Now this is their Twitter DP for the console. Now I really like this DP also. All five of them are together, and you can see how well they have fit. Famous five, and that's the reason why I thought I should call them as the famous five. So I'm going to end up here and coming up with the next one, and uh, more to go till then. Thanks and take care. Bye.